subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. We're tracking yet another system hitting the Leeward Islands today. It's not Fred, but it is Grace, and it is approaching the island of Guadalupe tonight, and it's expected to make landfall in Guadalupe before heading towards Hispaniola. We currently have it with winds of 40 miles per hour, or 65 kilometers per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 1,010 millibars, and it's moving west at 26 miles per hour, 43 kilometers per hour, very fast for a tropical cyclone, and it does have a CDPS rating of stage two, wind speeds just being below moderate, the storm size in between low and moderate, the rainfall potential being the big one, but just below significant, and the overall threat is moderate. This is for Hispaniola, by the way. We expect a significant landfall to take place and significant impacts on Monday. The current wind fields are quite small right now, only to the northern quadrant, about 30 nautical miles for both northern quadrants, none in the southeast, but that is likely to change over the next few days as we head further into the forecast. The current distances, uh, this is likely out of date by now, especially for Guadalupe and Antigua. It is 68 miles or 110 kilometers from Guadalupe, 96 miles or 154 kilometers from Antigua, 111 miles or 179 kilometers from Montserrat, 294 miles or 473 kilometers from the U.S. Virgin Islands, and 705 miles or 1135 kilometers from Hispaniola. And you can see at the bottom of your screen, tropical storm warnings and watches are in place, as you'd expect, um, for uh, or and ahead of Grace as this approaches land areas. The current intensity estimate spread, we're agreeing with the NHC uh, due to recon data, uh, around 40 miles per hour. ADT and SATCON are agreeing on 70 miles per hour, and AMSU is all the way down at 30 miles per hour. The current forecast cone that we have made by our very own Xavier Burns. You can see those tropical storm watches and warnings in effect, and this will generally be heading uh, towards southern Hispaniola, hitting the island, uh, big mountains of Hispaniola, and that's where uncertainty comes in place, intensity-wise mainly. If it, we saw what happened to Fred from those mountains. It's still struggling now, um, and uh, along with the interaction with potential interaction with Cuba. But I will make note that if it stays south of the island, which is a possibility. Uh, the intensity could change significantly, and we'll see that on the HWRF run that we're about to look at. Here's one factor, the sea surface temperatures, they're only getting warmer as it heads further west. The main inhibiting factor right now, and here, actually here's the HWRF wind swath, you can see it heads into southern Hispaniola but misses Cuba, and it becomes a powerful hurricane off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Rainfall is going to be significant no matter what happens for multiple uh, Leeward Island and less uh, Greater Antille Islands. The models right now are in general agreement of the system intensifying from here on out. And here's one of the main inhibiting factors I was uh, starting to talk about earlier. The wind shear is on a rise due to an upper level trough. If it heads further south, perhaps that wind shear would be less. Um, but you can see the other factors, sea surface temperatures and middle rel relative humidity are on the rise. So they're looking to be more favorable. And you can see those tracks, they're quite uncertain. Some models are still hinting at this potentially going north of Hispaniola. And of course that would have its own implications. So this is an incredibly uncertain forecast. Um, right now on satellite imagery, it's looking pretty good. It's got good blobs of convection. It's got some dry air off to its east, um, much less potent dry air off to its west. Uh, shouldn't really be an issue. The main issue, uh, inhibiting factor really, is going to be the westerly wind shear from that upper level trough. We'll keep you updated on whatever uh, Grace does as it passes through the Caribbean islands, and we'll also keep you updated on what Fred does as it approaches the U.S. Gulf Coast. <laughs>